Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little different than the last couple I've put up. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I've made these window insulation and these little blackout window inserts so people can't look into your car when you're car camping. So, let's get into it and I'll show you how it's done. First things first, um, here's a couple supplies that I have here. Uh, this is just some reflective insulation that you can pick up at uh, any Home Depot or Lowe's or probably any hardware store really. Um, this one is uh, 2 feet by 10 feet and the only reason I got the 10 foot was because I've already made the ones for the rear of the car so today I'm just going to be making ones for the, the front windows. Um, this one here was like, I don't know, 8 bucks a roll um, and when I made this ones for the back I think I got the 20 foot ones and I think I got maybe two of those or maybe one 20 foot and one 10 foot roll. So then I've got some duct tape uh, to put on the outside. Um, just a sharpie to kind of mark out uh, the, the insulation. I'll show you that. And then just a, a pair of scissors as well. So when I first started looking into what, what I wanted to put in the windows, um, majority of what I had read online suggested getting this sort of insulation, but then spray painting this side. And a lot of people had complained that when they spray painted this side, that it wouldn't stick to this insulation and that it would sometimes come off into the windows. So I ran across one comment that suggested trying out tape. So that's what I went with. And so far I haven't had any issues. So let me show you how to make it. I have this piece from when I did the back of the car. So I'm gonna use this up. And then I have that other roll that I showed you. Pretty much just gonna hold this up here, kind of line it up with the corners. But I want a little bit of extra so I can use a tight fit. So now I'm gonna cut this straight. I'm gonna cut the top of this off. And then I'm gonna come back and, and try to get a tighter fit and just keep cutting it off until I get it tight to the window. So let's make a few cuts back here. Next thing I'm going to do is probably cut something like this. Cut that extra off. force this in here to kind of get a crease and that's really going to show us where we'll need to cut. And I'm still going to cut it a little big. fitting pretty well. But I'm st I still think I'm going to trim this up and trim up a little bit right here. A 
Ooh, perfect. And then a little bit. And this side. Just like that. That is perfect. Maybe just a little bit off of this. Yep. Now, you can see here, there's a little bit of a gap, and there's a little bit of a gap here. Now, I'm not too worried about that, especially this one here, because I can fix this with the tape. When I put that on, I can just basically extend the tape over a little farther and pack that in. This one, on the other hand, is a little bigger, but I think we can still maybe manage to fix that with the tape as well. All right, so let's put the tape on. Now, we want to make sure that we're putting the tape on the outside. So we're gonna flip this around and put it on this side. All I'm gonna do is basically run this, something like that. That's way too much on the end, but. And then just fold this over, something like that. All the way down this side. that off, cut that, and fold that up like that. So I'm going to do the rest of this and I'll show you what I'm done. So I got the tape on this, uh, it's pretty snug, actually it's a little too snug right here. Uh, the gap has for the most part been filled um, more than it had, more than it was, but it could be better. Um, it's tight over here, there is this, still this little bit of a gap here, but um, I can probably throw tape on that eventually. So, I'm gonna do these next two, probably off camera, and um, I'll show you what they look like when they're done, and then I'll show you what it's like inside when all of them are in there and how dark it gets. I'm working on the windshield, trying to get this one in. A little uh, more difficult than I was expecting, but the, uh, the two door ones turned out nice. So I'll show you when I'm done with this one. Here's what it looks like inside the car with all of the window insulators in. The windshield's still going to need some work as it doesn't have a, a real tight fit yet. So I'm going to work on that, but that might be another day. So that's going to do it for this video. These are really simple to make. Um, total time I have invested is probably maybe two hours total. And then I'd probably say about $30 for the materials. So give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and I'll catch you guys in the next one.